growing up in the strict Catholic family, I think that's when I started questioning why did I have to go to confession. I grew up in a time when pa my parents, anyway, were wonderful people, really good people, but they we didn't never talked. I married a wonderful man. We bought a van, packed up a eight week old baby boy and a three year old girl, and we took off for California. And we got to Berkeley, and everything was happening. It was quite exciting, and. Uh, at the same time, sexual attitudes were opening up. So I learned a huge piece about myself. I have found for me, I, I'm, I'm not interested in somebody telling me what's right or wrong. I have it all figured out for myself. Letting go of as many judgments as possible. I had ne ha never had any idea how many judgments I had. So what happens is, I get referrals through a therapist who call me and say, I have a particular client and name, that give me all the history that they think is pertinent at the time. And like I said, it's mostly single men. There are some married people that call me, married men. When the client and I go in the bedroom, um, they come in here and we spend it a good 45 minutes talking to each other about what it is exactly they want to accomplish. You know, I have a brief history, but I want to hear it from them. And they elaborate and give me more information. You know, the point of the therapy is not to have them keep coming back and seeing me. So we have a scheduled amount of sessions that we're going to work together between six and eight as average. And we don't have intercourse probably until the fifth session if that person's ready. I know most of you probably think that's all I do is have sex with people. But there's so much more to what I'm doing with people. I always tell the client I'm going to set aside the full two hours for the session. But if for some reason I remind them of somebody they don't like or they don't, you know, we. They only I charge them for the one hour and that's it. It's not like I take over and everything is done by me. I really want people to know that they can say they don't want to do something. We can stop when we're in the middle if they're uncomfortable. It's really about helping them and learning what where their where their sexuality will take them. The therapist and I talk. The client is seen by the therapist between our sessions. So I may see a client. Uh, one week, the therapist will see them the next. You know, I don't dress in fantasy clothing and try to set up an ambiance that's going to make a person want to come back. Um, I mean, clients like me, and sometimes we'll communicate over the phone and they'll check in. But the vast majority of clients continue with the therapist. I don't see them again. The therapist lets me know how they're doing, which is great. And their intention, my intention and the client's intention is to go back and share what they've learned out and, and, and be more relaxed and comfortable and find a partner. I mean, I have had many hundreds of clients, and uh, you know that's not a secret. I mean, you do this 38 years, you're not going to say, "Oh, I've only worked with 100 people." I worked. I did a statistical analysis of it, and including couples, and I've had over 950 clients. And then, after about four or five years of working as a surrogate, I started working with people with uh, disabilities. People of all different types of body. One of my jobs is to be honest with people. A part of what I do is put condoms on men, show them how it can be done with your hand and your mouth because I won't work without them. It's this, everybody's so different. It's just an amazing process to see them go through with men who ejaculate before they want to. It's a matter of them doing homework and taking time and noticing this, I call it the, well, we all call it the scale of arousal, being zero and then coming up to ten, getting into those places in between, seeing if they can level off at six or seven. To, I'm not having sex with people I think I'm going to, you know, walk down the path with and have a lifetime with, but I'm with people I like. I like. I cry with clients. I'm out of joy. I've had clients who cried because I've touched their face. They've cried because they're all, the only time their face was ever touched was to be slapped in the face. Where I, I mean, I've had connections with clients and we're good friends, but I really wish I could help them understand that they own this body, it's yours. Find out about yourself. Learn what makes you feel good. Share it. A fundamental part of us as human beings is our sexuality. I mean, that is like our need to, to have food, shelter, clothing. Sexuality is right there. It's not for us just a natural thing where two people get together and they just meld and it's beautiful. There's so much worry that goes on for many people before that moment ha ever happens.